Hey guys, what's going on? Adam is Prime coming back at you with your step-by-step -by -step guide on how to five-star Isla Takano, picking it back up exactly where we had left off at the last episode with I was the expecting exact no same contracts over there on the side as well. So, something I do want to point out there real quick is that if you guys have any questions throughout this entire playthrough or series, whatever, whichever one, tutorial you want to call it, go ahead and comment down below because I'm usually pretty responsive and I can... I'll, I'll answer your questions if I'm able to. Alright, so with, that, with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and hop back into the video. So, as you guys just saw there, we just finished our contract. So let's uh, go ahead and request another contract real quick. And get that little bit of extra money. See if we can do it. Let's not argue over Photo the small at least stuff. worth at least ten thousand dollars. Looking at the big picture, extremely this easy. This is a solid contract. But at the same time, facility raising rating. I need to get that to four stars. So basically, it's just going to come down to capacity. So let's go ahead and knock that out of the park as well. <laughs> out of the park, yeah, yeah. Now <laughs> uh, just with a very nice and simple hotel here. Not gonna do it all that pretty, you know. It really isn't, because I'm just trying to five star right now. Uh oh, there we go. Yep, small into big, right? <laughs> all right. So then now let's go ahead and start driving this. Ooh. Just did an entire circle for no reason. All right. Come over here. Let's go ahead and get to the herbivore exhibit because obviously more dinosaurs you can fit inside of a inside of a photo, the easier it is. Oh man, the camera angles. I've never been the best at uh, driving in any video game. So let's take that. Hopefully that's already over ten thousand dollars. Oh, just you barely though. Man, yourself, the rating huh? on herbivores are just not it. But either way, I get that extra two hundred thousand dollars for it as well. So let's I'm go ahead standing, and hop out of here. That's job done. Let's come over here. Ooh, let's see. We have one Ceratosaurus. Do I have enough money to create a second Ceratosaurus right now? At least I believe that's what I put in there. Oh, and here's where it comes in for it, the security. On the best of days, keeping our animals contained mission. can be a real so test I'm, of So I'm gonna go ahead and, and say muscle. not right now, because nobody's one, really uh, commented as, as far as to make me do the that's missions or that you guys would like to see it. So until someone specifically requests to do the missions, as of right now, I'm just gonna go on the tutorial on how to get that five stars, not necessarily on the missions themselves. But yes, that is a Ceratosaurus. So let's open this up, actually. All right, so I do have that one upgrade in there, so that's, that's pretty much everything I need. Uh, Ceratosaurus, yep, there it is. Incub oh, that's another million dollars straight out. I guess we can uh, go ahead and hold off, and let's just go ahead and focus on what we want to throw inside of this exhibit here. We've got a little bit of visibility restraints, but shouldn't be that bad. Uh, I do want to put a another carnivore in there, though. So maybe we can throw a couple of uh, Dilophosaurus. Yeah, it should be fine. And there we go. Rating is up. So we got an extra $150,000. Boom. Just like that. So let's go ahead and modify this guy out a little bit. Obviously, we more really just care about lifespan as well as uh, authenticity, which is at 100%. And then, uh, what am I thinking of? The rating. Yes. I don't know how that was slipping my mind entirely. So, let's just go ahead and get the lifespan up. There we go. And the rating is up about as good as we can get. One thing I don't have on here, though, is the incubation. Oh, no. I just wasted $60,000. Whoops. But the success rate, I always forget to uh, throw that on there. So, let's go ahead and get, because I believe we need two or three. It's probably not cheaper than just going with a Ceratosaurus, I know. But you need the variety in your park in order to get the five-star dinosaur rating. And also, the cosmetic traits, getting that switched up every now and then on every other dinosaur, helps out a lot. So let's get some Dilophosaurus going in here. And let's see. I've received an offer that Facility rating of five stars for three mission. minutes. And can hmm. help you as well. Okay. So let's see. That means I need to request something for the entertainment so that way I can avoid sabotage going throughout the Always park. A pleasure to work with you. Coverage the 60%. Okay. And let's see. We need. What do we need for this to get to five stars? 
not entirely sure probably just bumping up those 70 percent rate basically just putting in some shopping stuff over here so that way the viewing centers can get something nice to look at but that's nonetheless we're still focused on oh and sorry if i have a little bit of the snipples for you guys uh i uh coming off of a little bit of a cold so i apologize for that ahead of time so let's go ahead and honestly just remove this forest because i'm not gonna need over about <laughs> pretty much all of it at least i don't believe so can't remember if i put that in there or if i just went ahead and made the exhibit around it but i am gonna need to go ahead and give some water so let's go ahead and throw in a little bit of corner over here for water and then maybe just reline the entire back edge here. Terrain restraints going up a hill. Okay, so never mind. Just back here then. Two nice little ponds in the back. Nice viewing area for it as well. And while we're doing that, actually we're still waiting on those. Alright, so let's go ahead and focus on some of our challenges. So obviously our guests need more stuff. So let's pop into our management view. So what's the lowest? Ooh, drinking and that's gonna be up and over here so probably realistically just need to up the uh, the staff and everything on here yep so I'm gonna go ahead and max that out and I'm still making a, a profit over there with that being maxed out so as with the hotel yeah make sure that you guys come through and you max back out your staff because as you can see that the bowling alley is still maxed out entirely and then there we go we're at Never oh, never mind. Quit. Different challenge. We need more people. <laughs> I had jumped to the gun too much on that one. There we go. So that's all maxed out. All right, and then there you go. Facility rating of five stars. It's already up there. You can see the timing coming in, or ticking down, just like that. Let's see. So we have the feeder supply over here. We have the feeder supply over here for him as well. Uh, these guys are all still doing all right. At least I would hope so. No one's trying to escape yet. So, with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and focus on our next area of exhibit. So I'm probably just going to do this entire corner over here. Or actually, you know what? You cannot forget about the transportation. I don't know how that almost slipped my mind. I'm, I'm definitely going to need to throw in a monorail station over here. And then maybe another hotel and just that. That's what I'll use this corner for over here. So then obviously with the monorail, something that a lot of people forget is that you can use it as to make up in gaps on your your, your viewing your viewing areas. So that's something that uh, I've usually <laughs> I usually try to do is to have monorails just kind of loop through the miscellaneous parts of your your park on where your viewing areas don't necessarily quite get to where they need to be. So let's go ahead and pop back into a station and see if we can squeeze it on in over here. Uh, of course, it's going to be obstructed by uh, this water and etc. So let's go ahead and remove the water. And go back on over to guests here. Monorail station. And honestly, I could probably just throw it right here and call it a day. And I believe I can. Now, however, I'm probably going to have to remove this. Just because the curve would be way too sharp. Let's see, that might actually be too sharp too. Oh, it's a miracle that that one actually worked, to be honest. Alright, so the next thing's next is we need to connect it and make sure it has some some power run into it. Should still have some power run into it. From the large substation, which is a, a must. It pretty much covers up everything that you're going to need. Alright, so then let's hop back into it. And just for the sake of, so I don't have to do it later, create the, the massive U-turn coming straight out of the monorail station. So there we are. So, <clears throat> actually, the uh, sorry about that cough, like I said earlier. Let's go ahead and get these Dilophosaurus out. I have enough money to buy a few more as well. That's going to increase the park probably up to just over three stars. As well as I can request another contract. Actually, I'm going to need another, I believe science is what I'll have to need again. We've got a new total guest count of 2,800 total guests. Look over. All right. But since we've got stuff going on over here too, uh, I'm going to go ahead and build in a hotel if I have the room for it. Terrain restraints all over the place, mm -hmm. right? Actually, I can fit it kind of just I like straight in the center, many times before. which is fine. I don't know how you it's did not going it. to be the prettiest, but just like I said, I'm did. just trying to uh, so race on off to... Oh, actually, I'm, I'm over here Ladies building the, uh, the fancy pads for no reason. It's such a waste of money. 
All right, there we go. So now that's all connected through. Everything over there is going to be powered. I'm going to increase the rating of the island as well. Let's make sure these guys are doing okay. Let's see. Yep, social's good. It actually turns out that they could have only used one. But you know what? I'll keep with the two, and then it'll take a little bit for the rating to pop into the uh, the dinosaur uh, meter or rating form, however you want to word it. All right. So now that's all there. We need to continue to go on with what the guests need. <laughs> because that's unfortunately how the entire game goes. But actually, I just remembered I have that storm defense coverage of 60%. Now on Isla Takano, I'm pretty sure that storms just don't happen. But I will start building some of these uh, storm defense areas. Just out of the fact of it being in a mission. So let's find a nice little handy spot for all these let's see can I get it to squeeze inside of this this would be much better awesome let's go ahead and get one more rolling up on the top up here so that way that can handle everything up here and then go ahead and connect it on through oh no not the lands landscaping complete accident there if right, there I was go. the jealous type I'd be pretty jealous of how well you're handling things on this island jealous of how well we're handling it on the island huh oh yeah and just as i said we're just above the uh, three stars down there so that's very nice storm defense coverage of the 40 percent from that once this is built i'll get that challenge done have some extra money raking in now let's go ahead and double check on our really island rating and see what's going contract. on so we need more satisfaction so obviously with the new hotel being built down here so let's go ahead and get back into what the guests need for probably about the <laughs> fourth time inside of this episode. Sorry about that. I'm getting a little sidetracked on miscellaneous other things. So, again, three main items that you're going to need right down here at the bottom. So let's go ahead and get those guys out of the way. Terrain restraints, of course. All right, let's see if we can get it to just snap on for us. There we go. So there's the restaurant. I need a bowling alley. As well as a nice clothes shop. Can we get the snipe on? Oh no, it's gonna be a little too wide, I think. Yep, unfortunately it will be a little too this wide. Exactly However, I, I can well put done. it back in here, at least I hope. Terrain restraints, terrain restraints. Oh man, there's the most tedious thing I think ever in this game. However, I'll just put it right there and call it a day. And now we have already unlocked because due to those Truth contracts is, that extremely Rundine help you out. Always see eye to eye. Okay, so However, just the same as the other mission. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that and uh, go ahead and go off into later. If you guys, uh, you know, just a reminder, if you guys would like to see me try those out or just uh, straight to the meat and potatoes and go as fast as I can to five stars, uh, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. But there we go with those being built same thing with those i'm probably not gonna waste any time i'm just gonna max everything out i believe the sell price like 30 35 something along those lines in order to get some profit out of max staffing okay and then yep still not wasting any time here maxing everything out as much as we can normally most of the times i don't matter <laughs> i really don't make that big of a deal about making a profit off of these things just because it just consumes a little bit more time. The right but then again, you know, getting those extra $6,000 a, a minute really adds up over the, the course of probably the 50 minutes you're going to be playing for this island. There we go. So that's all in there. So let's go ahead and just hop into our management view, the island rating, and let's see where we're standing. See, so everything is above 85%, even after the tick where it just readjusted somehow. So that's a five stars. Now, basically what we just need here is just more exhibits and then we're gonna be good so I think uh, in order to end off this episode I'm gonna come up here we'll go ahead and build in another power plant and so that way because I'm imagining we're running quite low so just to save us some time next episode I'm gonna go ahead and build another power plant like I just said connect it on through all on the same station it's usually uh, usually not the safest thing to do but it's really not going to make that big of a difference. It's just a video game, you know? Alright, so there we go. A little bit of uh, dinosaur improvements here. Now we have unlocked quite a bit of 
other <laughs> other areas over here. The we've gone up on island rating and everything like that. If like I said, if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. And I'll be sure to see you at the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching and take care.